السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته داود يا الحلقة نقدر نعوني سوا سام تي في سومالي حرونتي سمعنا لندن كسر دو هذا برنامج عصب مانتا أنا يوم مقالة عصب هاي أيام حالك كل ما يدلني رضن أيقنا وحي سمعنا يا بلاد فوم لدهو what is on what is on your mind مركا قفك وحي مسك عادي سكجرو أيوك هذا لا يا دي باتو اينك مغالا انك جيرو كا هاد لايا مركا نالا سوعدا برنامش كاس ايان لدا ديهد دونا جروب كان لدوه What is on your mind مركا ان شاء الله و تعالى نوحارمنا اينان كا هاد اللو عرب ما قسيا نالا شم مغالا دان لندن نالا سوعدا هالكا نقدا وان انسان واسوم تي في سوامالي حارون تيس مغالا لندن وعان خصو قلنا اي سود ويس لندن ان شاء الله و تعالى قرح في عن ايا ما انت نو جيرتو الحمد لله الهي بانكم هذين اينا مرك إن شاء الله لا صعود البرنامج كان. simple question which we are not able to find the answer. Either we are not able to find the answer from our leaders in this country, from the police section, from the community leaders, from the religious leaders, from the barons. Why the knife crime in this country is so high? Why every day so many young men are dying with knife stuff? Every day, basically, if I try to mention, maybe 10 people die every day in this country, in UK as a whole, and the why is it happening? Uh, to my idea, this is one of the biggest things in, is in my mind that the government of this country needs to have or come up with a program to our teens, to our youth. Our youth are using drugs, our youth are unemployed, our youth I've got so many issues, so many problems. So the government, especially the local MPs in this borough in Southwest London, any borough in the United Kingdom, they have to come up with a program that will help our youth, rehabilitation program, assisting program, any other thing that will stop the knife crime. Imagine. Last year, over 300 knife crime happened in this country. Who will be, who will be uh, taking account for that? Who is responsible for that? Who is going to be held account for that? So many young men lost their lives for unreasonable death. This is unacceptable. I want to encourage the Prime Minister of this country the MPs, the community leaders, the religious groups, the barons, and the women groups, the civil society, to come up with a better idea together. Together we can stop this thing. Together we can stop our youth dying for knife stops every day, every corner in this country. Regardless where you are from, regardless which ethnicity you, are, you belong to, you're gonna die one day, the youth, are fighting, the youth are killing each other. The other thing which is on my mind is that the police of this country, the police of this country has to be trained properly so that they can do their work properly. I can take one example that happened the day before yesterday here at Brixton Police Station. When I come out from the train station, I found a young teen, a black man, Probably if I guess his age is 19 years or 20 years, he didn't have a ticket. So the train transport police officers there, there were three guys and they pinned him down. They pinned him down. They compressed his chest. He was almost to die like George Floyd in the United States of America. You know what we did? We informed the police that this is wrong. 
this is uh, not acceptable, this is not by law, under which ground you are using to pin this young man on the floor. If he doesn't have any ticket, I can pay for him, somebody else can pay for him. That's one pound fifty. One pound fifty a young man to die, a police officer to come and uh, sit on his chest and compress, that's unacceptable. We want the MP of this borough, I don't know his or her name, to come and uh, find what's going on on the ground in this borough. They have to know. They cannot come out when they want election, vote, to ask us to vote for them. We have so many issues in the community, on the ground. That is my number two, which was on my mind. Number three, about house rent is very high. Number four, council tax is very high. We pay in council tax over 120 pounds. Some of the families, they pay more than that. Imagine somebody who's self-employed, who's getting little money, or who is employed, who's getting less than a thousand, and who needs a better life, is not able to pay that. So the government has to produce a very unique and standard way that will help all the people in this issue. That's number two, which was number three, which was on my mind. Number four. Number four is employment. Employment. We need our youth to be employed so that the crime rates will go, will reduce, will reduce. Please, uh, I argue all the politicians in this country, all the community, different community levels, the civil society, to come up, to come up with a program that will help all the people equally, all the people equally. Uh, this country we love, uh, we are living here, it's our country, and uh, we are ready to pay the price even for our lives to help our people. That's what was on my mind. Thank you guys, and uh, God bless you. You are doing a lovely job, and I really appreciate that. Thank you very much.